today we'll look at simulation folders and why you want to use them. For this example, we have two blocks that we'd like to create some glue between. Here, I'll create the glue, and you can see we have three solutions. One is active, the other two are not, but we want to add the glue to all three solutions. So to do that, after we create the glue, we need to drag it into our other solutions that we want to have the glue in. So if we have uh, an additional object that we'd like to glue into this assembly, when we create the glue for the additional object, that also will only go into the active solution and the simulation object container. If we want that in all solutions, which we do, we'll have to drag it into those solutions. Sometimes it's easy to forget to drag glue into other solutions that need that additional glue. What we'll do is we'll back up to the beginning and start over, but this time when we create our glue, what we'll do is we'll put it into a folder or a simulation object container. Here I'll call it glue. So now when I create the glue between our first two objects, what you'll see is it goes into both the simulation object container by itself as well as into a folder. And because when we created it in the active solution, we told it to put it into a folder, you can see that it's only in the folder. Now, if we want to add that glue to our other solutions, if we add the folder, that adds the glue as well. However, one of the benefits of having the folder added to the other solutions is when we go to create more glue, if we select that simulation object container or that folder to put the additional glue into, what you'll notice is that that glue now will go into all of the solutions that have that folder in it. So not only our active solution, but also our other solutions as well, reducing errors and helping us to more quickly and accurately create our simulation model with multiple solutions.